Hello guys, this is Chirodeep once again and you're watching Servlet tutorial series. Now in this tutorial we are gonna take uh, two parameters uh, in our HTML file and we are gonna print uh, that parameter. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, in this particular class you can see that this is a parameter servlet.java file and these are the imported files uh, that should be imported in order to use the void service method uh, in your servlet now what i have done here is i have imported uh, java.io.io exception and this is for the exception which will be thrown into the service method if you pro if you override the service method so servlet ex uh, i'm throwing servlet exception and io exception for this uh, i need io.io exception class and uh, this servlet dot servlet exception class and uh, i am extending my http servlet for so uh, for this uh, particular extending uh, operation i need uh, javax dot servlet dot http dot http servlet and uh, also i i am i have just given that uh, http servlet request and http servlet response so uh, in order to uh, in order to implement the service method in your http servlet class uh, which you are overriding so we will require two argument over there that is http servlet request and http servlet response so for that i require to to import this uh, particular two files now whatever uh, what is happening over here uh, let's check it out uh, i have uh, given one string s1 and uh, i am requesting to get the parameter as param1 and i have defined another string s2 and i am just uh, requesting uh, to get the parameter of param2 over here now i am using print writer class over here so that's why i have imported java.io.printwriter and i'm creating one object and reference you can say that print router uh, out equals to response dot get writer so i am just uh, responsing to to the get writer class or get writer method to write uh, our uh, statement so for that i need out dot print ln statement if you create the reference of print writer class so you can uh, print it in your console that whatever whatever parameter you want to pass it so I am I am passing over here S1 parameter and here also S2 parameter and BR is for the symbolic break. Okay, so this is a this is pretty simple and it will be it will uh, take HTML uh, HTML context also in your out print and statement. So this is our servlet class for the parameter uh, passing and to print our parameter one and parameter two in our HTML file. Now let's move out to the html file itself now what i have done over here is i have given form action parameter servlet that is this particular class and i have given parameter one as input type text and name i have given as param one and in parameter two i have given uh, another input type that is text and i have given the name as parameter two param two now input type is submit so i have given one submit button over there and value is submit so this is pretty simple html form now moving to my web.xml file which is for the servlet configuration now what i have done over here is uh, i have given web app and i have started the tag web app then servlet then servlet name then servlet name is my parameter servlet and i'm closing my servlet name then uh, giving my servlet class name that is parameter servlet now i have to map the this particular servlet to my html file so that's why i have used servlet mapping and in in the in between the servlet mapping you have to give the servlet name as parameter servlet as because we are using parameter servlet class and url pattern is must be given uh, in order to just uh, run your program in tomcat so url pattern is uh, slash parameter servlet and i have closed the web app now uh, i'm just demonstrating you which files you're gonna save in which uh, which package so this is my parameter servlet uh, web uh, web uh, web deployment uh, project and in that there is a java resource folder in java resource there is a source folder and you're gonna create your own package uh, whatever you wish or you're gonna go for default package so i'm uh, i have went for the default package in my default package there is parameter servlet.java now in my web inf i have defined web.xml 
and in my web content folder I have defined my param form dot html now if I run this program what will happen let's uh, check it out so first we need to start my tomcat so I'm starting my tomcat over here and as you can see that uh, is started yeah this is started so we gonna we gonna run this particular html file on my tomcat so run on server if i click run on server it will ask that uh, this server should be chosen and click finish so yeah you can see that uh, it is uh, requiring parameter 1 and parameter 2 and one text box over there so if i write chira and in parameter if i write tip then if i press submit then you can see that uh, it is redirecting to the url pattern parameter servlet and there is a question mark between param1 equals to chiru and param2 equals to dip so it will be passing to our next uh, next uh, url and it will be printed param1 as chira and param2 as dip so uh, this this particular thing is uh, is showing as because you have you have used uh, that request response method so uh, in uh, my in my next few up after a couple of tutorial i will tell you that this can be removed okay this question mark and after that this particular thing can be removed so for now uh, let's uh, just check this particular program and run your pro in your laptop or desktop so i hope you have liked it and thanks for watching have a nice day.